Basketball Hall of Fame inductee and NBA legend Wayne Emery has been a part of the Raptors organization for just shy of two decades. His impact on basketball stems from both his on-court and off-court activities, including through the Wayne and Teresa Fellowship Program. And it's interesting to see the thought processes of coaches at this level and, and kind of what goes into preparation. Kareem Thauer, like Raptors Delano Banton, is from Rexdale. Thauer is partway through the fellowship program with his area of focus on the Raptors coaching staff. I learned a lot from them and I think for me basketball has always been a way to give back to the youth and the people that are following in my footsteps. The Wayne and Teresa Embry Fellowship is in its fifth year and provides two Canadians the opportunity to gain first-hand experience with an NBA team over the course of a full season. I wanted to use it as a platform to be able to show that, you know, it's possible to be uh, somebody coming from, you know, uh, a background of, of African descent or Indian descent. Like my family is from Kenya and Tanzania, and so I think we don't see many people that look like me in the NBA. So, you know, showing kids that it's possible and and giving them opportunities um, th through this opportunity, you know what I mean? Prior to getting this opportunity, Thauer coached in the collegiate level and in the CEBL. Yeah. So what would the goal be for you? Are you hoping to become an NBA head coach? I would like to one day. I know there's quite a few steps to, uh, to accomplish before I get there, and I'm not looking too far down the road yet. I'm trying to stay focused on what I need to do to prepare myself to be in that position. So The other recipient of this season's fellowship is Michelle Bell, who's a certified athletic therapist and has spent over 10 years working and traveling with Canada's national basketball team program. Why did you want to apply for this in the first place? I think, again, working in basketball, it's been a part of my life for so long. I was working at the collegiate level and then also with the national team. So for me, the next level up was to work at a professional level. And being from the GTA just made it more sense. And it, it's great to be a part of the Raptors organization. Bell's focus with the fellowship opportunity is player development. It's like a childhood dream. I grew up playing basketball. Um, I'll say this, even when I was on the court, uh, I'll be off court practicing myself to make sure that I can hold my own being the only female on the court, which I think s speaks for itself. And I would never want that to be an excuse as to why I would, couldn't be involved. And so it's a part of my nature and I, I absolutely love basketball, so it helps. For those who want to apply for the Wayne and Teresa Embry Fellowship for the upcoming season, the deadline is February 15th. You can apply at fellowship.raptors.com. The Raptors in New York for a little matinee matchup against the Knicks, and it was a battle on the court with the game coming down to one point, but then going to OT. The Raps eventually taking the W. Their next game is in Milwaukee on Tuesday.